Thanks for joining us today, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna be making a, a brief video detailing how to automatically overclock your GPU using Gigabyte's Aorus engine. Now, if this is the first time that you've ever used Gigabyte's Aorus engine, uh, you may want to take a look at one of my prior videos where I kind of really go into detail as to what everything does, what's safe and whatnot. Uh, but this video in particular is only going to be focused on the auto scan feature. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to make sure that we have the latest version of the Aorus engine. Uh, if you're downloading it for the first time, I'll make sure that I include the link, uh, as you can see here on the right. Uh, or engine version right now is 1.67 click download and install it once it's installed go ahead and open it up and it should look something like this uh, when you open it up for the first time now if you already have the Oris engine installed on your computer and you want to make sure you get the latest update you go to the top right hand corner here in the gear icon and you can click on the check for update next again pick your continent and of course i have no updates but that's because i just updated it prior to making this video so the first thing i'm going to advise before we start the auto scan is that you close all applications and by that i mean all background applications uh you know it's a highly intensive process while it's doing it so if you want to ensure that you get the highest overclock curve make sure that you close everything whether that's chrome everything for our purposes, I'm not actually gonna be running the procedure, so I have certain things open in the background, but you need to make sure it's all closed. The second thing is, if you already have the Aorus engine installed, I'm gonna advise that you reset back to the defaults as it first came. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So, we're gonna leave the GPU boost and the memory clock absolutely the same. For GPU voltage, I'm going to advise, you could click on the gear icon, of course, and you could bring it to 100%, uh, but I'm gonna advise that you leave it locked. And the reason for that is that we ran the simulation about 20 times, and for some reason, each time, when we ran it with the GPU voltage locked, we would get a higher curve than we did when it was at 100%, which didn't make much sense to us, but certainly for some reason that's what the card wants now as for the uh, power targets and the uh, target temps those we want to make sure that they're maxed out to 100 initially you may see a little lock here make sure that you uh, unplug those and then grab each one of them and take them to max now again i've mentioned this before but these numbers on the right that 111 power target temp I'm sorry, power target percent and then the target temp of 88, those are set by the manufacturer. So they're safe, you know, so putting these to obviously 100 you know, to max is not going to void your warranty or hurt your card in any way or, or anything like that. Once you've done all of those things, we're now ready to click on the auto scan button up here below. Now, for our purposes, I'm not going to do it, but I did take a, I, I half ran it and I took some screenshots. So when you first run it, it'll look something like this. You'll have a second screen that'll pop up on the right hand side. And at the top, you'll see a percentage. It'll start at 1% and you'll see the curve that's being creative. And it'll go from 1% all the way to 100. And once you reach 100, you'll then see a screen that looks like this. And it'll say finished. Once it's finished, before you hit the exit button, I want you to come over here and click on the apply button. All right. Now at this point, what you've done is you've taken the curve that was on the right that was just created by the auto scan and you've applied it to your GPU. However, if you were to close the application at this point, you would lose it. So before the last step that we want to do is we want to make sure that we save it. Now, whether you have multiple profiles already created or whether you need to click on the little plus sign, which will give you a new profile, make sure that pick a profile and then over there on the right hand side of the trash can, you can see there's a little save icon. You want to make sure that you click the save icon. At this point, you have now taken the curve. Of course, it's been applied, but now you can safely close out the Gigabyte uh, Aorus engine and next time that you boot it up, 
you know, that beautiful auto scan curve overclock, which you've created will be there. Uh, and it'll only be one button away. And that is it. You have officially used Gigabyte's Aorus Engine to overclock that card with the auto scanner. If this video has helped at all, uh, even been a bit insightful, please do subscribe and shoot me a quick thumbs up. Uh, this allows me to continue making content, which is something I enjoy. Uh, and also, you know, don't, don't be afraid to uh, drop a question or a comment or anything uh, regarding to some of the stuff we've discussed uh, below. I, I tend to be pretty good about responding, usually within 24 hours. Have fun overclocking, and I look forward to hearing and seeing from you guys in the next video. Thanks, everyone.